Welcome! This video tutorial serves as an introduction to ePortfolio for D2L users at Nashville State Community College. ePortfolio is a personal portfolio tool within Brightspace or D2L where students can share, organize, and reflect on items that represent their learning. It's possible to include documents, graphics, video, files, presentations, and coursework in ePortfolio, and to align those learning objects with objectives and competencies in order to show mastery in a certain area. This tutorial will show you how to navigate D2L ePortfolio at Nashville State Community College and how to add learning items to ePortfolio. To start off, you can locate ePortfolio at the top of the navbar from the homepage in NS Online. That will bring you to the dashboard for ePortfolio, which features a newsfeed much in the style of Twitter or Facebook that allows students to update what they are currently learning by typing in the text box that says, what are you learning? Um, they can also add files or add links as demonstrations of what they are currently learning to add to the newsfeed. On the dashboard, you'll see that you also have the option to view unread invites on the right hand side. These are invitations to review or comment on other uh, shared ePortfolio works within a sharing group. You also have the option to create a new presentation, a new collection, or to add other items on the right hand side of the uh, ePortfolio dashboard. Probably the best place to do that, though, to add new items is using the My Items tab up at the top, though. So if you click on the My Items tab at the top, that will bring you to all of the items, collections, and presentations you have added to your ePortfolio organized in a central consolidated location. As you can see, I have several different items that I've added into my ePortfolio, including grade results, a presentation, a collection, um, and uh, individual files. So uh, you'll see a list of everything that you've added to your ePortfolio here. You can also use the filters at the top to filter by particular kinds of items. So you can filter to uh, dis display only artifacts or items, collections, presentations, reflections, or objectives. At the top, you also have the Add button, which will allow you to add additional items as well as the new presentation and new collection buttons. From the My Items page, you can also click on the drop down arrow next to any item in order to view, edit, move, or manage individual items. Or you can use the check marks on the side and the More Actions button at the top to move or edit items in bulk. So next we're going to practice creating a new item. We'll be using, so we'll be using the My Items page uh, to add new items or artifacts and to practice uh, creating new collections and presentations. So first of all, we're gonna start off by creating a new item. To add a new item, click the Add button at the top and then select File Upload if you wish to upload a new file to your items. This will give you the option to upload a file from your local computer. So just click Upload, and then select the file that you want to add. And a variety of file types are supported. So for instance, I'm uploading a PowerPoint, but it's also possible to upload videos, graphics, documents, any kind of, um, uh, most any kind of uh, uh, file upload is possible. Click Next, and then you can edit the name and description of the item if you wish, and you can also add tags here, separated by commas. So for instance, for this item, I'm going to add the tags history and education to this item. On the next page, uh, you have some additional options. You can edit um, the comments or assessment permissions. Uh, if you wish to allow others to add or view comments, uh, this is where you can control that. You can also add a rubric if there is a corresponding rubric that was attached to this particular assignment or learning item. And you can also associate learning objectives from the D2L competency structure 
if there were associated learning objectives, say with the completion of this particular assignment um, or the creation of this item. So we click Save and Close. And then you'll, you'll be redirected to a page where you can actually see the file. You can open it in a new window. You'll see that you also have the option to add a reflection. So students could add a reflection about the completion or their, their process and the completion of this particular assignment. Reviewers or other viewers of, of this item can add comments here. So let's navigate back to my items and we'll see that the, that PowerPoint is now available there in my items as an individual file. Now that we're back on the My Items page, you may have noticed on the Add button that you can actually add a lot of different kinds of items other than just a file upload. For instance, you can add a reflection on its own into ePortfolio. You can include a web link, a web document, a form response, and you can even import course results. So things like grades or the completion of particular course competencies into ePortfolio in addition to learning objectives if those have been set up in the D2L competency structure of a course. So let's practice adding course results. If you click on course results, you will come to a page that asks you to add artifact and you'll have a list of courses to choose from. So if you select, for instance, um, a particular course, you'll have the option to include different kinds of course results, including grades or competency results. Click Next. And then you, uh, much like in the case of a file upload, you also have the option to add tags to competency results or grades, if you so wish. Click Save. And you'll see that your grades results and my, your competency results will also be available in my items. And that covers the basics of adding items to ePortfolio. Keep watching to learn how to create a collection as well. And as always, feel free to contact the Office of Online Learning at Nashville State Community College if you have any questions.